Hello, it's Ashley. Today, I am going to give you a tour of the Wilkinson Student Center. So uh, here's the, the construction that they're doing on the parking lot. That building right there is where we're going. That is the law building. Let me get out of this car's way. And there is Y Mountain. So we're coming in from the east side of the Wilkinson Student Center. That was a struggle. I don't even know if I can walk on the sidewalk. We'll see. Um, there's Heritage Halls right there. The creamery's on that corner. So yeah, here we go. Update, I can walk on the sidewalk right here. So, I'll kind of take this off for a second because I'm not inside yet, but the Wilkinson Student Center is huge, first of all, so we'll just do like a really quick walkthrough. But should you ever be on campus, it's where the Cougar Eat is at. It is um, also where the bookstore is at, which is really nice to know. Um, it's where a lot of student resources are, so we'll just kind of do a quick run through. Okay, so we just entered through those doors, and this is the first level. There are maps everywhere in case you get lost, and I still use them. Cougar Creations is really cool. You can, like, copy things and create things. There's a hair salon in case you need a haircut. Um... There's a cool little study area over there with vending machines, which is important to know. So it is not open right now, but this is the bowling alley. Um, there's some like arcade games in there too. It's really fun. And then also there's like a lot of places to take naps. I personally keep track of really well. If you see me on campus taking a nap, please don't send it to BYU Sleeps, but I wouldn't blame you if you did. This is a piano where I have heard the river flows in you play a lot when I'm trying to take a nap over here. Um, this is the wall. I don't know if we can look inside. Nope, you just get a really close up of the bars, but this place does fry time Fridays and from three to five they have half off of their fries and their fries are amazing that is all so this is like there's the wall there's the bowling alley here's the lost and found so if you lose anything on campus you can found it there these are student lockers um, I don't know where or how but I can find out if you want me to you can rent those and keep your books and stuff on campus, which is really nice. So that's good. Okay, so we're just down from the bowling alley. Oh, I'm pointing at it, but you can't see them. Bowling alley's right here. This is international student services and also multicultural student services. So um, I went between the two is international is anyone that's not from the United States. And then multicultural is anyone that is any um, race, ethnicity other than white. So lots and lots of, I'm like winded because of this mask, lots of access to scholarships and resources and um, clubs as well. So that's really helpful. Um, so continuing our journey, the ID center is just around this corner and then over there is the front where we walk in. It's kind of like a maze, but um, turning left from international and multicultural student services, counseling and psychological services is over here. Um, this is an amazing resource. It's something that I have used before. Um, it's free to BYU students and staff and faculty there's a biometric feedback lab in there if you're feeling stressed out and you want to find more ways to kind of relax and um, there's also free counseling so it's really awesome utilize it if you need it another nap spot okay so we just came up the stairs and this is the backside from 
where we entered. The library is just over there, so that's nice. So all along this wall are some cool resources. There is University Advisement Center right here. Just past it is the Career Studio. Um, if you're looking to buy or get a job, um, that is really, really helpful. And then this is the BYU store. That is where you can find cinnamon bears and cool t-shirts. And we'll go upstairs in a minute and look at the bookstore level. Um, around this corner, this is the Cougar Eat, or as my um, NSO leader called the Cougariot. So there's Chick-fil-A, which is the most important thing you need to know. There's Taco Bell, there's Papa John's, there's a Subway. Um, oh, also between, I don't know if you can see it, right there is new. Um, it's called Milk and Cookies and you can go get warm cookies and chocolate milk or normal milk or hot chocolate. It's incredible. Um, this is Cougar Express. It's just kind of like a little convenience store. They have more food over there. This is called the Terrace. Um, there are usually lots of study tables in there. I don't know if that will still be a thing with COVID, but we'll see. Another piano where I have heard the river flows in you at least 20 times during my career at BYU. Um, this is the information desk. You can ask them questions. Um, the student employment office is where you'll go if you get a job on campus and you need to um, be put into BYU's system. They also have information about jobs, so that's really great. I'll turn the camera. We got the Varsity Theater where you can see movies for a dollar. We got Jamba Juice. We got the Garden Court where they have events um, like career fairs and stuff. Um, we've got Y-Serve, which is really, they have a lot of opportunities for um, remote service activities as well. So that's nice. Um, also, lady, this women's restroom has a couch, which I'm pretty sure is for moms, but it's not always used by moms, so sometimes I sleep on it. More study tables and nap couches. Um, that reflection room is really awesome. It is really quiet and they have some cool chairs and stuff in there if you want to like look at Y Mountain and do homework there. Um, and now we are across from on the other side of the garden court. Behind these mysterious blue curtains is the ballroom. Um, they have went to a coin concert last semester. They have dance classes there sometimes. They have um, events there as well. So good place, um, good to at. So we're back by Jamba Juice. We're gonna go up these stairs. We got a nice portrait of good old Ernest L. Wilkinson. So I've never been down there, but I'm pretty sure those are just like classrooms and stuff. I need to take the stairs more often because I am winded. So we round this corner and we have women's services and resources. That's a really great place. Um, down that way, we've got student leadership offices. So if you're involved with BYUSA, you'll meet there. I need to take a break. I need to take the stairs more often. We've got more study space, more nap couches, also a balcony. If you're feeling like a little Sharpay from High School Musical action, that's an acceptable place to do that. I'm going down this hall, pretty much around up here, there are like big conference rooms. I've had a lot of meetings up here. Um, you might have some classes up here. That doesn't happen super often, but I know that it does. These maps are my life. Um, they do not get completely lost, even though I still do, and I've been here for uh, three years, so. Okay, so apparently it's, but over yonder, clear over there, if you walk around here and over there, and also on the bottom 
floor of the BYU store, there are stairs that go up there. Um, that's the Cougar Tech Center. There they have um, computers you can rent if you need to. Um, sorry, I was trying to figure out my camera. Um, you can also, there um, are textbooks up there. There are a bunch of like pens and pencils and school supplies if you need it. Um, it's all right here. There's also other stores where you can get it too, but it's just nice to have it on campus. There are backpacks there, laptop sleeves, all sorts of stuff. Um, also, in the basement of the BYU store is a Deseret book. And so, um, like return missionaries, if you need garments or anything, they have them there. Um, they also have, um, like scriptures and things too, and like religious books and we have lots of paintings down there. Sometimes I'll just go and stare at them. Um, there's also a post office in the basement of the BYU store. So if you ever need to mail anything, um, you can go there, it's super nice. Okay, so that concludes our tour. I wanted, I planned on it being like five minutes long, but it's a big building. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out and ask. Um, also, here's a snap more of campus that in coming weeks I will be showing you. The law building, heritage, again, we're just kind of on, we're on the north side of the Wilk um, at this point. There's Y Mountain. I hope you enjoyed our tour. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful weekend. Um, please meet with me. I'd love to get to know you better. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say, but I don't think I do. So, thank you for watching. Bye.